One of the machines you will be able to obtain take the name of Grinder. By default it will allow you to craft several refined resources like the copper pipe, copper screw, bronze pipes and the rubber rings. Plus, after you will obtain their specific recipe, you also will be able to craft the copper wire, copper gear, bronze rivet and the rubber tube. Before you will be able to craft it, you have to reach the top right side of the Sandrock city, where you need to enter inside the research center. Here you will find NPC called the Chi you have to speak to. Then in the social menu select the third option called the Research. In the first menu you will be opening the at the end you will notice the grinder. To start the research you will need to pay 3 data disks and it will take one day to complete. Speaking about the data disks required for this research, the easier way to obtain them is by going exactly to the bottom right side from your workshop where you will find the Ufala salvage shop. By interacting with the cash desk in the right corner you will be able to buy up to 10 data disks each day for a price of 20 gold each. If you don't want to spend gold, craft a stone pick hammer at your work table. Next, on the right side from Eofala's salvage shop, enter inside the salvage area. Here you will find some pile of junk you can mine down. Doing so has a random chance to drop several times the data disks. For a more efficient way you have to progress in the storyline until you will repair the crane leaf that will allow you to access the ancient ruins. Inside this dungeon series you will be able to mine down the terrain. Doing so has a high chance to drop several data disks. For the passive way you have to progress in the mine storyline until you will unlock in the bottom left corner of the Sandrock city the civil corpse. In the left corner of this building you will find a board you can interact with. Next you have to select the hazardous ruins. Next using the sliders you can decide how many uh, runs they will do and how many days you want to wait for the result. Based on what you choose uh, the price will change. You can post up to 3 commissions at a time. After the commissions will be completed you will receive a mail with the rewards forecasted in the board. If you max out all the sliders, you will notice that you will be able to obtain 35 data disks for each commission. This means that you will be able to get up to 105 data disks passively from these free commissions. A bonus tip, while progressing in the mine storyline, sometimes you will visit several dungeons. Pay attention at the terrain in this dungeon, because sometimes you will be able to mine it down, the same way you do in the ancient ruins. The cool part about these dungeons is that the stamina won't be depleted while mining. Plus the day-night cycle will be paused until you will finish them, so you can take your time to mine all them down. If you do, from some of these dungeons you will literally obtain for free over 200 data disks. After the research you commission it will be done, you have to interact with the mailbox near your workshop. This will allow you to read the mail from the research center that has the recipe you required. By acquiring it, you will learn automatically how to craft it. For the next step, you have to interact with an assembly station, where you will be able to find the grinder now. To build it, you will need to collect 2 bearings, 4 bronze bars and 6 bricks. For the bearings, that is the first ingredient of this recipe. To start farming it, craft a stone pick hammer. Then, on the right side from the Eufala salvage shop, enter inside the salvage area. Here you will find some mixing junk piles you can mine down now. Doing so has a chance to reward you with a mechanical scrap. Next, you have to place them inside your recycler and they have a high chance to obtain some bearing this way. Progressing in the mine storyline, the mixed junk pile in the Ufala salvage will be improved over time and therefore you will be able to obtain bigger amounts of mechanical scraps. Also sometimes it will spawn even a mechanical junk pile directly, that will yield even more mechanical scrap compared to the mechanical junk pile. And also has a high chance to drop the bearings. From the Ufala shop you also will be able to buy up to 10 mechanical scraps each day for a price of 31 gold each. While after repairing the hydrogel for a mine quest, around the Ufala salvage you will notice some new structures called hypersleep chambers. 
that also will reward you with a decent amount of mechanical scraps. Also, on the right side from the Elfala salvage, you will find a robot under a tent. Mining it down has a chance to drop you directly the bearing. For a passive way, you have to progress in the storyline until in front of the Ufala salvage shop you will find the Rocky standing with some other NPCs in front of him. Approaching this location will start a quest you have to complete. The next day after you will do so, visit the Ufala salvage shop. On top of the desk in the center you will be able now to interact with a book. This will allow you to access the Ufala salvage delivery. By using the confirm button, you will start the contract. Doing so, each day near the mailbox, you will find a crate you can interact with. That will reward you with a huge amount of scraps, including the mechanical scraps you need. If you want even more, go back to the Ufala salvage shop and interact again with the book. Now you'll be able to upgrade your contract by paying more gold that will result in giving you more resources each day. Speaking about the bronze bars, that is the second ingredient of this recipe, before you'll be able to obtain it, you have to progress in the mine storyline until you will build a crane lift that will allow you to access the abandoned ruins. Immediately after, you can go above your workshop where you will find a hammer time shop. From where you will be able to buy up to 20 bronze bars each day for a price of 47 gold each. In case you don't want to buy them, go back to your workshop and interact with the furnace, where you will find a recipe that will allow you to convert 3 copper ore and 2 tin ore into 1 bronze bar. To obtain the copper ore you need for this recipe, reach the abandoned ruins. In this dungeon you will find several copper nodes you will be able to mine in order to obtain the copper ore. Occasionally you will get it also by mining the terrain. In alternative, if you want to save your stamina, you can reach the Eufala salvage shop to the bottom right side from your workshop. Here you will be able to buy up to 50 copper ore each day for a price of 4 gold each. Speaking about the tin ore, you need to visit again the abandoned ruins. Inside these dungeons you have to proceed further until reaching the third level. In fact, only from this level you will find some tin ore nodes. Mining them will give you the tin ore you need. Occasionally from the third level you also will find the tin ore by mining the terrain as well. In case you want to obtain the tin ore and also save your stamina, you can do so by visiting the Eufala salvage shop. In the right corner of this building you will find a cash desk you have to interact with. This will allow you to buy up to 30 tin ore each day for a price of 8 gold. Another way to obtain the bronze bars can be achieved after you will complete the quest that will require you to repair the hydrogel. The next day go to the bottom right side from your workshop and visit the Eufala salvage junkyard where you will find a new type of junk called Ruined Boost Frame. Mining it down, beside receiving other ingredients, you will also obtain some bronze bars. To finish, it's time to speak about the bricks that is the last ingredient of this recipe. Before you'll be able to obtain some bricks, you will need to craft a stone pick hammer. Next, around your workshop, search for some stone scraps you have to mine down. Doing so, you will receive some stone scraps and the stone. For a better way, you will need to craft a bronze pick hammer. This will allow you to mine down several monuments will appear around your workshop. Those will reward you with a higher amount of stone scraps. The stone scraps next you need to place inside the recycler. This will allow you with a high probability to find some bricks and stones. Well, if you already have a furnace, you will be able to place inside it some stone that will be converted into bricks. Speaking about the stone, there are also other ways you will be able to obtain it. For the stone pick hammer that you crafted previously, thanks to it you will be able to mine some gravel that will give you a good amount of stone. Speaking about the bronze pick hammer you crafted for the monuments, you also can use it for the hard rocks. That will yield even more stones for the amount of stamina used. Now that you have all the stone you need, you will be able to produce a lot of bricks.